Welcome to the KTA Coding Inspection Instrument Training Series. This is one of many modules that are available to you. You can find all the modules at kta.com or paintsquare.com. This module describes the use of the Positector 6000 dry film thickness gauge. The dry film thickness gauge complies of ASTM D7091 and SSPC PA2. The purpose of the dry film thickness gauge is to measure the thickness of the coating to verify that you comply with the specification requirements and the manufacturer's instructions. We're going to show you now how to verify the accuracy of the Positector 6000. Okay. All right, first turn on the gauge by pressing the center button. The gauge is factory calibrated, but before you use it, during use, and even after use, you should verify the accuracy. That can be done either by using smooth coating thickness standards. You measure the thickness of the standard, and then you have to subtract the base reading of the bare steel in order to make the proper adjustments. The other method is to use plastic shims. The plastic shims are color-coded, showing you different thicknesses. We're going to use the plastic shim method in this video. First, push the middle button to pull up the menu. I'm going to toggle down to calibration settings. Push the middle button. There are three ways to make this adjustment to verify accuracy. Zero means if I'm uh, uh, painting on smooth steel like automotive, I actually zero the gauge on the bare metal. That's how it's adjusted. One point adjustment is where you select one shim thickness less than the expected thickness range and make an adjustment to read that shim thickness properly. A two point adjustment is where you do a shim thickness less than the thickness expected and heavier, so you really bracket the range. I'm going to show you the two point adjustment. I select the two point, push the middle button. It's asking me now how many readings on the shim do I want to take. I'll push the plus button. I just raised it to three, you see on the bottom of the scale. I'm going to select a shim, color-coded shim, that's less than my expected thickness range. In this case, it's a 2.09 mil shim, 2.1 mils. Put the gauge down on the shim. The scale, the little uh, face plate shows me to lift it. Put it back down. Just watch the diagram. I lift it again. I'll put it down to do my third reading. It's saying that the thickness of the shim is 2.8 mils over the bare rough substrate. We know the shim thickness is really 2.1 mils, so I have to make an adjustment. I do that by hitting the minus button until I get the shim thickness, which in this case is 2.1 mils. Hit the next button, and now I'm going to measure on the upper end, the second point. It asks me how many readings I'm going to take. I'm hitting the plus button. Again, to go to three. There's no standard, but three is a, a pretty common number to use. I put a heavier shim down. This one is 9.4 mils. Put the instruments on. Lift it. Down for my second reading. Lift it. And the third reading. The gauge is reading 10 mils on a 9.4 mil shim, so I'm going to reduce that down to 9.4. And frankly, if you're within a few tenths of a mil, it's, it's, it's really accurate. Now I'm ready to go. I hit next. I can now measure the thickness of the coating above the roughness of this substrate that's been painted. Put the gauge on the paint thickness, 6.4 mils. That means 6.4 mils of coating above the peaks of the profile, 5.8 mils, 6.9 mils, and so forth. And that's all there is to it. And again, other modules are available for your viewing at kta.com or paintsquare.com.